Lithium. We wanted to cover lithium systems. It's kind of up and coming. Technology, if we go back 20 or 30 years with a four wheel camper, we had just a single deep cycle marine battery, RV battery inside the camper and not much power requirements. People would have lights and a fan and, and in a basic ice box. Over the years, we went to dual 12 volt batteries and then we went offering dual six volt batteries and then we started offering solar in addition to that. So as time goes on, technology moves along, customers are wanting and needing more power to run refrigerators and laptops and charge batteries and go full-time living. So lithium is coming and it's here. It's getting to a point where cost versus value is starting to level out. In our campers, we can do dual lithium batteries or we can do triple lithium batteries in the flatbed models. We use the Red Arc management system, Red Arc 30 power management system. So instead of having in the old days, just a camper battery on the floor, bolted to the floor underneath the couch, hooked up to the truck for recharging. Now the camper is incorporated into one system. So all of your power management, solar charge controlling, truck recharging, 120 volt AC shore power going through here and then the battery system going through here as well. This manages the entire system. It optimizes the performance. It can tell you what's coming in, what's going out. It'll manage your solar system the best it can to get you the most available power. It will run the shore power if you're plugged into a campsite. It will manage your batteries and tell you how much power usage you are using in the camper. So it's just one new feature that people are moving up to. Is it for everybody? Not yet, but a lot of people do like it. It's a nice upgrade. If you happen to have an older four wheel camper, customers on the forums and calling our service department are slowly upgrading to lithium as well. If it makes sense for them, affordability and their skill set. So in an old camper, we would have just a simple battery isolator or a battery separator in between the camper battery and the truck. And that's, that's really the only systems. Over the years, we added a, an IOTA 30 amp power converter to the inside of the kitchen cabinets so that if you plugged in your camper to shore power, everything would come on. You could charge your batteries from shore power. And then kind of the next step into that system was solar. And then the last step for our total management system that will manage solar, manage batteries, shore power, and truck and camper connection, the lithium Red Arc manager system takes care of all that. So on an older camper battery, charge rate's a little different, discharge was different. Lithium batteries will give you more power available, more amp hours available. They hold a nice, steady, long, flow of power, your entire use down to about 20%. And there's probably better goal, better technical terms you can find online, but 80% of that, the, the battery usage in a lithium battery, you got full power use, which is great. So you have less worries about running out of power and you can use more power longer. Lithium batteries charge faster and kind of just overall, I think it's, it's the wave of the future. So just something to consider and we'll go through more stuff as time allows.